I get a lot of interest in um, how to uh, hedge, uh, how to go long, long, short ETFs. You run some interesting ETFs that are along this line. Your uh, advisor shares Ranger Equity Bear ETF. The symbol is HDGE, hedge, get it? <laughs> uh, you short U.S. listed companies believed to have low earnings quality out there. Uh, it seems to have done very well. HDGE, tell us about it and what, what's the idea behind this? Sure. So it's a short selling fund, as simple as that. So it's not geared. It's not the type that, you know, resets on a daily basis. It's your ability to invest in a typical short selling manager uh, with transparency, as you can see our short positions on the site. And so we've seen a lot of demand, not surprisingly, this year hedges up, you know, 10% as of last Friday. Uh, and as you noted, they've got a unique investment style where it's very fundamentally driven, uh, has a bit of a forensic accounting approach, um, but they are looking for, you know, opportunities to short um, where, where companies could struggle, you know, meeting their earnings estimates and earning guidance. So not saying they're bad companies, but just saying the companies might struggle yeah. hitting their numbers, and thus it becomes a good opportunity to profit from a short perspective. So what are you, give us your four or five biggest positions right now. How big are they in the fund? Uh, and, and when do you rebalance the fund? So no set rebalancing time frame. That's probably the easiest question to, to answer. Uh, it's very much conviction weighted, um, though they sit around plus or minus, you know, to a half percent to our top position, which is credit acceptance course, uh, corp, uh, ticker symbol CACC, and they're uh, an entity that primarily provides loans in the automotive space. That's a 3% weighting uh, in the short position for hedge right now. Um, but there's constant adjustments in a short fund. You've got to constantly manage your exposure, especially on, on more volatile days, uh, to make sure that the assets in the fund are matching up with how much short exposure we have. We try to match it sort of dollar for dollar, but you're constantly making little mm. tweaks and adjustments right. there based on what the market does, but also based on flows in the fund. Right. So it's all about low earnings quality. This word is around a lot these days. Quality, you know, they want fortress balance sheet things, high quality. Right. What does low earnings quality mean, just generically? Because that's how this fund is described. Sure, absolutely. So you can think about maybe companies that have had increased earnings, but they've maybe achieved it through buybacks, right? So fewer outstanding shares, same level of earnings. It might look like it's increasing on a per share basis, and maybe those stocks have moved up in the market because of that. But when those types of things stop or they become more difficult to do, you know, that's a company you want to look at to try to find the right opportunity to short them. But some of it could just be very much fundamentally driven factors, right? Other holdings are things like Greenbrier companies, GBX, or Hilton Grand, uh, HGV, where we've already seen some earnings weakness and know there should be more coming. So fundamentally driven, uh, as you described earlier, uh, uh, mostly probably more art maybe than science, but we are looking at the numbers to make those determinations. And you've got another one that's, I guess you would call it a momentum fund, really. Uh, this is the advisor shares Dorsey Wright short ETF, DWS. H is the symbol yeah. there. Um, you're shorting large cap companies that are exhibiting weak relative strength. So that's sort of a momentum play. That's not an earnings play. Am I right? Very much so, right. So very unemotional, very disciplined, very quantitative in nature, um, relative strength and momentum based. So yeah, instead of trying to be long the companies that are demonstrating the highest relative strength, we are shorting a basket, which, which again, no conviction when we rebalance, which you know, we'll do not uh, consistently on a monthly basis, but as we start to turn over the portfolio, we, we'll reset back to an equal weight. Uh, so no conviction in any individual position. But, yeah. yes, we will short those demonstrating the, the greatest relative weakness. And so not surprising, you're seeing things like um, energy space. Marathon oil right. is, is the top short in that or Diamondback yeah. Energy as well. Yeah. But relative strength, I mean, using RSI, relative strength indexes, usually they use like these are short term things like two weeks or so. Is that is that it is. What, what's the so length of time? The Right, you'll see the portfolio turnover, you know, probably quite a bit more in this portfolio, whereas in Hedge, you know, they're making that fundamental decision, um, you know, the challenges from a revenue perspective on that side can be persistent. But it's part of our approach to really diversify where you're getting your alpha exposure, you know, not saying that the yeah. fundamental approach is always going to work and not saying the technical approach is always going to work, though DWSH year to date is up 20 percent. So we've seen significant demand, not surprisingly, in that. Yeah. So, yeah, very, very different in how they approach it. But use combined in a portfolio, probably a, a smarter way to, to hedge some of your long positions.